Hello and welcome to another one of my Criterion Sale recommendation videos. This time I'm going to be focusing on four documentary feature films that I think are absolutely brilliant. Do not worry if the sale has ended by the time you're watching this video. These recommendations will stand. I think these films are brilliant, so no matter what price you're paying, I think they're well worth your consideration. Anyway, let's get on to the first one. First up, it's For All Mankind. This is a film by Al Reinert. This is one of my favourite documentaries because I have a real fascination with space and the Apollo missions. It's a film that takes a lot of archival footage and weaves it together with talking head interviews of the astronauts that went on these Apollo missions. And it's a magnificent film and it leaves you with a sense of wonder. It leaves you in awe for what these men did. It's a story of discovery and bravery and these guys were real pioneers in the true sense of the word and I love everything about this film so it's one of my favourite documentaries and this Criterion disc in particular is great. It's spine number 54 so this was an early Criterion disc and it has an audio commentary and a making of documentary about the film so a documentary about a documentary. It's a great package and anyone who is interested in the moon landing and the Apollo missions and space exploration needs to see this. This is essential viewing. Next up I have Antonio Gaudi. This is from Hiroshi Teshigahara. I mentioned this in a recent haul video from some criterions that I picked up and I loved this. This was a first time watch very recently and it blew me away. It's a documentary unlike others, so it isn't a talking heads documentary. There's barely any words in this. It's mostly just looking at the architecture around Barcelona that Gaudi created and the otherworldliness to them, the, the alien nature to a lot of his works. And it's aided by this fantastic soundtrack. I love this. It's a really weird experience and one that I'm really eager to revisit. Teshigahara does actually have some other films in the Criterion Collection, such as Woman in the Dunes. This is unlike his other films though. This is pure visuals, and the music is brilliant, and it's a great insight into the works of Gaudi. The special features are great as well. There's a look at Teshigahara's first visit to Barcelona, and then there's a load of other stuff from architects, and other filmmakers who are looking at the works of Gaudi, including Ken Russell, who is featured on this disc as well. So this is spy number 425, and it's a fantastic package if you're into the works of Gaudi and you just want to look at some really cool, weird-looking architecture. If you're enjoying these documentary recommendations for the current Criterion sale, please do consider subscribing to the channel for more Criterion recommendations from me. And if you want any further recommendations on anything, please do drop a comment below and I'd love to get back to you. Anyway, back to the documentaries. The third documentary I want to recommend is Gimme Shelter about the Rolling Stones. This was directed by David Maisels, Albert Maisels and Charlotte Zwerin. And this is spy number 99 in the Criterion Collection. Gimme Shelter is not just a typical rock documentary or concert film. This actually focuses on a specific event that happened during the 1969 tour uh, in San Francisco, where some of the love generation collided with the Hells Angels and there was a lot of violence and a lot of people got hurt. Some people got killed as well. And it really soured that whole concert that was meant to be all about love. And this was post Woodstock as well. And they thought that this was going to be a lot like Woodstock. And it just turned very violent. It's actually told from the perspective of the band, viewing these tapes being played back and actually watching them as perhaps they feel guilty for what happened because they were putting on this concert that brought these people together and they started fighting. And it does raise an interesting conversation about artistic guilt and if your art is bringing people together and actually causing violence how guilty should you feel that central concept of them watching back the tapes and feeling guilty i'll admit doesn't really lead anywhere in the end of the film 
but it is still a very good documentary so i would totally recommend it and the criterion disc itself has audio commentaries on here and it has some rolling stones performances on there as well so i think this is a great blu-ray to have in your collection whether you're a fan of the rolling stones or not because i'm not the biggest fan of the stones i do like a lot of their music but I wouldn't call myself a super fan. And this is probably one that I wouldn't have watched if I wasn't into the Criterion Collection. I might not have discovered it. I probably wouldn't have found myself watching a documentary about the Rolling Stones. But I'm so glad I have this in my collection. So that's another one for me to recommend. The last documentary that I want to recommend from Criterion in this video is Grey Gardens. And this is a cult classic. Grey Gardens follows a mother and a daughter, the cousins of Jackie Onassis, who have fled high society and have secluded themselves inside this mansion that is crumbling. It's falling apart. The reason this film is a cult classic is because it's so idiosyncratic and their characters, I mean, I think of them as characters, but no, these are real people. They act so strangely and so quirky and it's so quotable, this film. There's a lot of weird philosophical musings that come out of these people and it's a great portrait into loneliness and being a hermit and it's a, just a different way of living that you experience watching Edie and Edith and this is another film from the Maisels as well like Gimme Shelter. It's a brilliant documentary and the Criterion disc which is spy number 123 is a great one to have. Actually in the special features there's the follow-up documentary from 2006 called The Beals of Grey Gardens and then there's an audio commentary on there as well and there's excerpts from an interview. This is a great documentary to own, like probably one of the most entertaining documentaries that I've ever seen and I'm so thankful to own the Criterion. So this is one well worth considering in this sale, especially if maybe you're not that into documentaries, because at times this doesn't feel like a documentary. You're, you're watching these characters and you're thinking, how are these real people? But they are, and that's what's so brilliant about this. So I wholeheartedly recommend Grey Gardens. So that about wraps up this video. These were the four documentaries that I wanted to recommend to you today. I do hope you'll find some of these enjoyable if you pick them up during the sale. Uh, if you've watched any of these and if you love any of these, please do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to discuss them further with you. I will be back with some more Criterion recommendations very soon, but if you want to stick around on the channel, just click whatever video is going to be suggested to you now. I'm sure you can find more recommendations from me on the channel as it is now. I'll be back very soon, so until then, stay well and keep watching great films.